Hey guys, Brenny here, and my friend iJevin recently uploaded a tutorial on how to make a button food system like so. Um, so we push the button and we get the food for the button we push. Um, and he basically said it could be a bit more compacted. So I'll show you guys how to make a slightly more compact version. I'm sure someone will be able to make this even more compact. Um, that's just how redstone is. Anyway, uh, I did ask Jevin's permission to do this, so don't get too upset if you are a Jevinator. Uh, we are friends. We are on a friendship level, so don't think I'm some troll. Anyway, so what you want to do is start off by making a 5x5 five five room. Uh, that would be the inside, so the outside's technically 7x7, seven seven, I believe, uh, with a too thick roof on top. Now, you can do one thick, but having it too, uh, one thick, the water will seep through, so you'll get that drippy water look, um, which, hmm... Oh, that mustn't happen instantly, but yeah, there we go. There's the drippy water, and it just doesn't look as good. Anyway, so... What you need to do is place your buttons on the inside. Um, we're going to do three per wall, but I'll show you at the end how you can add extras to your design. Um, then you need to place a sign. So we're just going to do food one and food two. Obviously, you don't need to place these if you're just going to remember them or if they all do the same thing. Uh, then what you're going to do is lining up with the buttons, put a redstone torch at the back. Now, having the different uh, materials here actually makes that a lot easier uh, because I just find the three centered ones. Now, above that, you can use any block you want, um, as long as it's not transparent, so glass, stairs, uh, and you're going to put a line of blocks above every torch. So, if you have a fourth torch here, which I'll teach you how to add, um, you can obviously do that too. Um, so, you do that, you put the blocks above, and then on top of those blocks, you're going to put more torches. Uh, and they should turn off, and if they don't, you're obviously using a block that will not let the power go through. Now, we're going to go time set day, set zero. And then we are going to put blocks on top of the torches that are turned off, like so. Uh, so it's very simple. And on top of these blocks is where we're going to put the dispensers. Now you have to face them into the middle, like so. And there you go. Now they're all going to shoot into the middle, so now we need to mark out the hole. Now if you want to have additional buttons here, you need to do the hole further back, so here. If you're only going to have three, uh, put the hole here. So we'll do, I'll show you one of each, um, and then I think I'll modify this one with the one back, so yeah. So once our hole's there, marked out, you need to put a block behind the hole, and we'll actually just do a full line straight away, and then on the block behind the hole, you put a sign. This will stop the water from going in. Now around the edges where there is um, gaps, obviously you want to put... Um, blocks to stop the water from leaking off so like so I'll get a step back look at this in a second for you guys there you go so basically the water's got a little tray there now you need to put water in each corner so here and here but not the corners on the side where the hole is now all the water should take every item that gets shot into here into that hole and yeah that that works quite simple now what you need to do is fill up the foods that you've done so there we go there's our two foods uh, a little addition I like to add is putting a roof above it because then when you look up through the hole, like this design over here, you can't actually see out. Um, you see wood, and I think that looks quite presentable. Um, other than like, if you if you just had a hole there, I don't know, it wouldn't look as good. Um, another thing I like to do is putting a ladder. Well, I would like to do if I built this in my world, which I probably will, to be honest. Might do it with something different other than food because. Um, I'd like multiple foods, so I might do it. Or I could maybe connect it to like something that shoots out like 10 or something. Uh, but yeah, putting a ladder at the back because if you're making this, you're probably going to be making it in a legit world where you need food. Uh, so having a ladder at the back, you can go through and access them all. Um, so that's pretty good. And there we go. That's all we really need to do now. Whenever we push the button with the signs, because the other ones don't actually have it. Um, that's one little improvement that Jevin mentioned he would like his to have is the food getting to him faster and because in this design it has to travel less distance it's um, a, a bit more efficient um, now what we'll do is I'll teach you guys how to make the um, version where you can have multiple areas for the um, food basically so you can have more than three on each column so what you need to do is get rid of your water if you've already built it and you are wanting to add more uh, and you want to bring this area back one, so do it like this. And then you need to bring the hole back one, like so. 
and your sign back one. Now this is so we can add the dispensers here. If you don't actually want them here and you just want them on the back wall or on this side of the wall, so I'll show you on the inside what that would be. If you want buttons here and here, you have to bring the area back, but if you want them here, here or here or here, um, yeah, you don't really have to bring the wall back. Anyway, so now what you can do is replace your water and it's quite simple. You just add uh, the areas where you wanted it. So we'll go, hmm, how should we do it? We'll add the torch behind the button. So that's where our button would be. Uh, wool, torch, and then more wool. And then on top of that wool, we put our dispenser and you can put your food in there. So we'll put this sign in here. And then when we press the dispense button, which would be connected here, we should get the sign any second. Uh, because these ones are slightly further away, it will actually take a bit longer, see? Uh, the closer ones would be the most efficient, so I recommend uh, this one here, this one here, and this one here being the mainly used things, but the ones in the corners are a bit more awkward because if you push this button here, it's going to shoot it straight forward, so we should get a stake quite fast. And there we go, we got the stake quite fast. If you have the hole a bit closer, it will also come to you quite fast. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and a comment I'd also appreciate it if you went over to Jevin's video and said thank you for the inspiration because um, I, I, I think this is a pretty cool build um, and Yeah, it's all all credit goes to Jevin. So go thank him on his video. Bye guys